augmented and virtual reality headsets. We've been hearing about them for years, but they still haven't caught on with everyday consumers. There's a wide variety when it comes to price. On the high end, you have the Apple Pro Vision, which will set you back $3,500. And on the low end, you have the MetaQuest 3 for $299. And somewhere in the middle, you have HTC. Its Vive Focus Vision is $999 and $1299 for the Pro model. For Dan O'Brien, HTC President of the Americas, that's the sweet spot for gamers and people who just want to have fun. You're getting a headset that connects to all of your PC gaming, if you so wish to use it that way. You can use it as a standalone headset and it has applications across thousands of, of different gaming applications. You know, anything from zombie to fitness to, you know, playful architecture games and things of that nature. And there's a lot of different gaming applications that can be a lot of fun and very entertaining, um, even mental health uh, applications. We're definitely targeting a high-end PC gamer, very high 5K visuals, uh, very easy to use. You no longer need external tracking now, it's all embedded on the headset. So it's very, very easy to use. We've now even included things like uh, auto IPD. So the lenses inside the headset actually adjust to your pupils. So you always get the best visual quality and fidelity. And so from a consumer standpoint, we've really designed it for that, again, that PC gamer, high-end gamer, and that's a growing market. You have over 180 million active Steam VR PC gamers, right? That's a very, very healthy market to serve with that headset. Well, let's have some fun. That's it. Let's, Let's go uh, for it. show me how these, these, these headsets work. The setup is more than just putting on headsets. The technology within the headset has to acclimate to your eyesight, your height, and set safety boundaries. There's also the motion sensors so that when you move physically, you move within the software. There are also handsets for spatial concerns that allow you to push and move things within the virtual world. So the simulation I'm doing right now is walking the plank <laughs> yes, so this is a consumer experience to have fun with your your comfort level with uh, heights and uh, uh, height exposure. So check your balance and work, walk your way out on that plank. So pretty good. How's it feel? Very focused. <laughs> we, we talked about it earlier, you were going to make it all the way to the end. I've got to tell you that when you put these on, you really do get immersed into another world. It's hard to figure out what's going on outside of the glasses. And um, you really, really feel like you're in a different place. The HTC headset, however, is more than just fun and games. It's been used to aid in physical and mental therapy, to train a police force in Mexico, and is being used in the space industry. However, O'Brien is proudest of how Vive Focus Vision is being used in the medical field. So you can train people over and over and over again and they get through the training faster and they retain it at a much higher level. So retention is at 75% versus a lecture style at 5% or reading at 15%. So really a lot of improvements there in those couple of industries. Um, but we've also seen in the healthcare training simulation with doc different doctors like Yale University, um, they're getting their doctors or their student doctors through the surgeries 29% faster and they're making six times fewer errors. So really significant impacts. 